Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. This is a quick one. I'm using iPhoto AI and this is a tool, a free tool here. I'm gonna show you how to do face swapping without installing any software, no nothing. This is literally a one-click solution. It's pretty wild, let's go. First step here, iPhoto.ai. Link is in the description. Next, I'm going to go ahead and click on login. If you don't have an account, just click on create account and you can see here that I've got a free account. I'm just gonna sign in with my Gmail and bang, I am using their free version. Now, on the left side here, you'll see a whole bunch of different options. The one I wanna show you first is face swap. It is literally one click. All you need to do is either click this button or drag and drop an image in that you wanna face swap. So I'm gonna to go to my finder and I'm just gonna find an image. I've got this woman here. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag and drop her in. All right, so there we go. We've got her, I've dropped her in. I'm gonna click on here and you can see here, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Now, the next step though is on the left side here, you'll see I've got iPhoto face and your face. Basically what we've got here is you can select iPhoto face and select one of their faces. These are basically pre-generated faces, faces like stock images that they've uploaded. And if you see something you like here, just go ahead and click on it and it will swap the face. If you wanna upload your face or a celebrity's face or a face of somebody that you know that interests you i've got a whole bunch of different options in here let's go ahead and upload our own face so i'm just going to click on this little plus here and then let's select a face like this girl's face so i'm going to select this one here and presto it's going to upload her face now it's this one here she just recently uploaded it here you can see it i'm going to select it i'm going to click on it watch this Look at that, we've already swapped in her face from the original face to this face. And because she uh, has a darker skin tone and a darker skin color, it's even matched up the tones. Now, if I wanted to keep this, all I have to do is just click on the download button and I can either select the preview with the logo in it and then you would have to either purchase it or remove the logo, if you know what I mean. Or you can just go ahead and select and pay for the high definition export if this is a tool that you find useful. That is literally all there is to it. I found this on the website. It's really, really good. Take a look. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.